sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today we embark on a powerful journey through Scripture, focusing on the profound spiritual truths found in Matthew 6, 23 Ezekiel 2, 6, and Ezekiel 3, 9. These passages offer us wisdom on living in the light of God's truth, understanding the dangers of spiritual darkness and the call to boldness and steadfastness in the face of opposition and rebellion. As followers of Christ, we must learn to cultivate spiritual clarity, resist the darkness, and stand firm in our faith, no matter the challenges we face. Let us open in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you seeking wisdom and understanding from your word. Open our spiritual eyes that we may see clearly and walk in your light. Strengthen us to stand firm in the face of adversity and may we be bold in proclaiming your truth even when surrounded by darkness. Guide us as we study today and fill us with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In Matthew 6, 22, Jesus speaks of the light of the body being the eye he says, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Here, Jesus uses the eye as a metaphor for our spiritual vision and discernment. The single eye represents a heart and mind completely devoted to God, undistracted by the temptations and distractions of the world. When our spiritual vision is clear, when we are fully focused on God's truth and walking in alignment with His will, our entire being is filled with His light. The light represents God's wisdom, guidance, and presence in our lives. Psalm 119, 105 reminds us, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When we allow God's word to illuminate our path, we can navigate the challenges of life with faith and clarity. On the other hand, Matthew 6, 23 provides a warning, but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? An evil eye is one that is clouded by sin, pride, or worldliness. When our spiritual vision is divided, when we try to serve both God and the world, we are filled with spiritual darkness. This darkness leads to confusion, deception, and ultimately, separation from God. This is why it is crucial to maintain spiritual focus. If we allow the distractions, sins, and false teachings of the world to infiltrate our hearts, we risk falling into deep spiritual blindness. Proverbs 4.19 says, The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. Darkness blinds us to the truth, leaving us vulnerable to the enemy's deceptions. Spiritual blindness is a dangerous state. Sometimes we think we're walking in the light, but we're actually allowing darkness into our hearts. This happens when we let sin, envy, pride, or the temptations of the world cloud our judgment. When we think we are following God, but allow these things to distract us, we deceive ourselves and end up in spiritual darkness. Jesus warns that when the light we think we have is actually darkness, we are in a worse state than we realize. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 19 says, The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. Those who live in darkness cannot see the truth clearly and end up stumbling through life, missing God's best for them. To avoid this, we need to stay connected to God through prayer, reading His Word, and living a life that pleases Him. We must constantly ask ourselves if our spiritual eye is focused on God or if we've let distractions take over. Now, let's look at Ezekiel 2.6. Here God tells Ezekiel, Be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious 
house. In this verse, God is calling Ezekiel to be strong and courageous. He is sending Ezekiel to speak to the rebellious people of Israel who have turned away from him. Even though Ezekiel would face resistance, mockery, and hostility, God tells him not to be afraid. As followers of Christ, we will face similar opposition when we stand for the truth. The world is often resistant to God's word, and we may feel like we're surrounded by briars, thorns, and scorpions, which represent the spiritual and emotional attacks we may face. But God reminds us to be bold and not to fear the world's response. In Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 9, God strengthens his message to Ezekiel. As an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. God promises to make Ezekiel as strong as stone, giving him the strength and courage to face any opposition without fear. This same promise applies to us today. When we are walking in God's light, He gives us the strength to stand firm, no matter what challenges we face. God makes us bold and unshakable in the face of adversity. Just as He gave Ezekiel the strength to speak the truth, God will equip us to live boldly for Him, even in a world that rejects His message. The darkness around us, whether it's sin, opposition, or worldly distractions, cannot overcome the light of Christ. John chapter 1 verse 5 reminds us, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. No matter how dark the world may seem, it cannot extinguish the light of Jesus in us. Our job is to keep our spiritual eyes focused on God and remain bold in the face of any opposition. As long as we stay connected to Christ, we will walk in His light, and His light will guide us through every challenge we face. Today's message reminds us of the importance of keeping our spiritual eyes focused on God. When we do this, our lives are filled with His light, and we can see clearly the path He wants us to walk. We must also be prepared to stand boldly in the face of opposition, knowing that God gives us the strength to overcome any challenges. Remember the promise God gave to Ezekiel. He makes us strong, like a stone, able to withstand the rebellious world around us. We don't need to fear the darkness, because we have the light of Christ guiding us. Let us close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for reminding us of the power of living in your light. Help us keep our spiritual eyes focused on you, and give us the strength to stand boldly, even in the face of opposition. Thank you for the promise of your presence and your power in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this message encouraged you to live in the light of Christ and stand firm in your faith. We're excited to announce that Bible Adventures for Children is coming soon. This series will help children learn the teachings of the Bible in a fun and engaging way. We invite you to support our ministry by visiting our website at awakeningrighteousness.com. There, you can find free blog posts, Christian art, and books that explore the profound teachings of the Bible. Your support helps us spread the gospel, reach more souls, and share God's love with the world. Stay blessed, awaken the righteous version of yourself, and join us in this mission of sharing God's truth. God bless you. Amen.